Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am so excited to share with you guys. I feel like I haven't been this excited to share a makeup tutorial in such a long time. So today's look is going to be very simple and easy and we are going to do a really fun creative yellow and brown smoky wing eyeliner. So I thought it could be really cool to do something a bit more ombre-ish. It's really creative but so simple and easy. I know a lot of looks that I I see on Instagram and YouTube they're so stunning and creative but I always think damn this is gonna take me hours to look as good as them so this is just an alternative where it's super simple and quick and you guys don't have to worry about taking a million years to create something fun and colorful so we've started our makeup as normal. I'm using the Hourglass Number no. 28 Serum Primer. My skin is honestly so blimmin' dry. It is crazy. So this serum primer is so hydrating and honestly it smells edible. When you put it on your face, I would like literally want to lick someone's face if I smelt this on them. And then we've used our typical foundation that I love. So this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro giving me some good coverage because with something a bit more glamorous I always like a full coverage foundation. And I'm not sure if you guys saw but my psoriasis is playing up a little bit so I needed that coverage to cover it up. And then setting it with the Laura Mercier powder. So I haven't use this in such a long time I actually in all honesty forgot I had it and then I found it and discovered it amongst all my makeup the other day and thought I would jump back on that bandwagon and start using it again it is so funny though you guys can see me putting on my face on most people this is still brightening they can still carve out their contour and brighten their under eyes with it and it is literally my skin coloring <laughs> I'm just like literally a piece of paper disappearing into the snow so what's new and we've set the makeup as you guys can see. For the eyes today and also the brows you can see we are using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and no this is not her new ones I am so excited to get my hands on those though especially now that she's reformulated them because I did see some pretty controversial makeup tutorials and reviews on YouTube about how it could either be amazing or it was really crap so I can't wait to get my hands on the good ones and today we are using her older original palette that's the white one and you can see we've just used a really nice lightweight base all over the eyelids and then we are taking this darker shade for the brows. I am loving a powder brow at the moment. I know a lot of people don't tend to like them but I absolutely adore powder brows. I feel like it's really soft but defined and your brows can look really fierce with it as well. I would love to know if you guys would like to see more story time videos on my channel as well. I get occasional comments from people really, really wanting me to film more story time videos. So leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys would like to see more story time videos. I was thinking that the next video I film could be about my crazy old man neighbor that is just honestly psychotic and I could tell you guys about a story of him punching my ex-boyfriend in the face and it was so bad but it's always interesting hearing about other people's lives isn't it <laughs> so I could film that and then I was also thinking about filming about me having surgery lately I had an infection that I had to get removed on my back so I thought I would let you guys choose if you would like to hear about my hospital experience and how I actually didn't have anyone that would come and help me while I was in the hospital so that's a little bit of a sad controversial topic no friends hashtag <laughs> back onto the makeup we're going to start at ombre eyeliner so using this gel pot as a base which is a really nice dark chocolate brown from bobby brown we are marking out where we want that liner so today i'm going to be doing a medium length nothing too crazy i will admit generally i do like really long fly away to the cloud <laughs> winged eyeliner but we're keeping it a little bit more subtle for me so nice medium wings i'm just using the normal shape of my eye so generally what i like to do 
when I'm doing winged eyeliner is I mark out exactly where I want it by looking straight in front of me at the mirror and then that makes sure that my wings are pretty even. Of course a lot of the time they do tend to be more sisters rather than twins. It's just unfortunate. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a perfectionist with my wings because that would drive me insane. <laughs> so marking out that base, you can see it makes it a whole heap easier to make sure everything's pretty symmetrical on both sides of your face there. I love when your look finally starts to come together a little bit more. Obviously my skin is looking really blank because I don't have anything on my cheeks yet. But the eyes are starting to look a little bit more fierce now with that winged eyeliner. And the yellow looks so stunning on top. It's the yellow from the Morphe palette again. And it is quite a mid-tone mustard yellow. It's that really on-trend color at the moment. So that is another reason why I wanted to play around with a yellow and see how it looked with a bold liner. Have you guys seen Jeffree Star's new videos? The ones where Shane Dawson, I think his last name is. I should know this because I actually really like to watch him on YouTube. Um, dresses up as Jeffree for a day and they kind of vlog a day in the life of Jeffree. Honestly, I am hooked. My favourite thing on YouTube at the moment. And it's so amazing getting to look into Jeffrey's life and see what it's actually like to be a really massive beauty influencer who owns his own company. I'm just like, I want that life. <laughs> it looks so fun. If you guys haven't seen his vlogs, I definitely recommend checking them out because they're really interesting and I think you'll love it. So going back to the makeup look, you guys can see that I've just used a nice small pencil brush and literally patted that yellow eyeshadow over the start of the winged eyeliner and it gives it a really nice fluffy parted effect over top of the dark brown which I thought looked really cool especially in photos it's really eye-catching because of the two different textures so we've done that over the winged liner and then just using the same color underneath the eye really smoke out that lower lash line and we are going to be using it in the crease as well to define the crease above where we use that really soft base tone all over the eyelid what are your guys favorite makeup products at the moment I'm trying not to spend much money on makeup because I have so much stuff I want to get rid of some of it first but I really want to know what the new on-trend products are or what are your cult favorites because I feel like I need to branch out and stop using my original favorites and try something new for once. So leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any ultimate favorite makeup products. Doesn't matter what brand it is, I would love to try something new. Even if it's skincare actually, I love trying out new skincare. I will admit I have been so bad lately with cleaning my face when I'm really tired tired if I'm really tired sometimes I've been using like a general makeup wipe before bed as my makeup remover and then going to sleep and then I wake up and I feel so guilty the next day and I'm like why did I do that such lazy moments so I'm really trying at the moment as soon as I walk in the door getting home from work instantly taking my makeup off because then I don't have the opportunity to be lazy. I'm sure some of you guys at least understand, well I hope anyway, <laughs> otherwise you're going to be thinking, uh, what is wrong with this girl that is so grotty? I swear I don't mean to do it though, it's just when I'm really really tired and I've obviously been lazy and haven't done it in time and then I'm just like sleep time, bedtime, nothing else. And that's just what my mind gets set on. Using my favorite warm bronzer of the moment, you guys can see that I am starting to look a little bit more lively. I don't look as blank and as snow whitish. <laughs> so we are using that on my cheeks and my hairline as well to give me back a little bit more color. Personally, I find that when I put bronzer against the hairline, it makes me look a little bit more lively because Generally, I have a lot of redness in the area from my psoriasis, so when I add the bronzer, it just makes me feel a little bit more normal having more colour there rather than being so blank. 
So I have used that as a base to warm up my skin as you guys can see and then over top of that I used this stunning blush from Sleek. So they come in trios and I've used the middle shade which is actually a dupe for NARS Orgasm Blush in my opinion. So I've added a tiny top up of that on the cheeks, give me a little bit more colour so I don't look dead. <laughs> And then we are using this Becca highlighter. This was honestly one of my favorite highlighters and I thought that I lost it But for some reason I found it in the bottom of my pants drawer God knows why or how it got in there, but I'm so happy to find it again And then I can keep using it So we've used that on the cheeks as the highlight of the nose and then in the inner corners You guys could see before as well that I did warm up the sides of my nose as well So I just took a little bit of that extra extra blah, blah, blah. Can't even speak half the time. <laughs> my vocabulary does not like me So I've just taken a tiny bit of that bronzer on an eyeshadow brush a really nice fluffy blending brush and just taking that down the sides of my nose to give me a little bit more shaping as you can see my nose looks a little bit more contoured now I don't know if I've ever spoken to you guys about this but out of everything on my face the thing I'm most self-conscious about is actually my nose <laughs> so with my nose it is very large in my opinion it's quite fat and it reminds me of Squidward's nose so <laughs> I do tend to like to give it a little bit more shaping when I'm doing quite a glamorous look so I look quite put together otherwise I feel like my nose can be seen from out of space so that is why we have lightly contoured the nose we've used my favorite mascara of the moment as you guys probably know if you watch my videos I am loving the Stila huge lash mascara I just find it gives me so much volume without looking clumpy so put that on as a base and now we're using these model rock lashes over the eyes these are so stunning and really natural so I love to look like I don't have such heavy eyelashes on when I do a nice glamorous look a lot of the time because I find that it really complements such a strong winged eyeliner as well otherwise you can't see the liner as much so I'll leave it in the bio with the number of these lashes that I have used so you guys can have a wee look at them if you want to and I am using my trusty tweezers to help me for some reason I was just having a really bad day with my eyelashes lashes I felt like I just had no fingers and it was really hard to put them on it wouldn't stay down my eye shape just wasn't helping me <laughs> and I was just struggling to put the lashes on so the tweezers really did help stick them down as you guys can see it's taken me so much longer to put lashes on than normal in this video but hey we all have those days you kind of can't not have an annoying day once in a while when it comes to makeup I am so excited for the look to finally be coming together. So we're using one of my favorite lipstick formulas at the moment. This is from Stila. It's one of their long wear liquid lipsticks. I will admit if you're someone with dry lips, definitely make sure to pop on some gloss or lip balm with it as well because it can be a little bit drying on the lips. So you can see this is a nice mid-tone brown. Nothing too warm or too cool and I felt like it looked stunning with the yellow on the eyes as well actually. This honestly has to be one of my favourite lip colours that they sell because it's such a beautiful everyday and night colour for the lips. Anyway, we are finishing up the makeup look. I am just about to set my face with the Urban Decay setting spray just so everything is glued down for the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial because I had so much fun filming something a slightly little bit more creative than normal and I will see you guys in my next video. Have an awesome day. Bye!